This is bull. This is absolute bull. Uh, guys, a couple days ago I did a video called Going to Jail for a Song, where I detailed a brand new DMCA law proposal that could send your favorite Twitch streamers, YouTubers, and Instagrammers to jail for accidentally streaming copyrighted material. Little did I know that in the midst of searching for more information on that felony streaming act, which by the way is supposed to be passed in the monstrous 3,000 page omnibus bill in a matter of hours now? That I would find something even more egregious that Congress is trying to slip into this bill in the final hour with no one knowing about it. Something that could hit you, yes you, at home and millions of other internet users with a $30,000 fine. We're gonna need pretty much all of Beard Nation here guys and probably many, many more people. Uh, if this goes through, uh, we're looking at a complete resurfacing of how the internet works in ways that are hard to even fathom right now. Before I get into that, guys, uh, there, there's so much bad news today, it is hard to know where to begin. I do want to give you guys an update on the big Tom Tillis DMCA law proposal. After we did our video a couple days ago, guys, not to mention uh, the thousands of other much larger uh, YouTubers and Instagrammers, uh, Twitch streamers that talked about this issue, Stop DMCA, uh, which was originally talking about the felony streaming bill, uh, did go trending on Twitter for a time. This was a really good step. It forced people to actually take a look at what was inside this crazy 3,000 page omnibus bill uh, that really has had little or no debate on some of the finer, weirder, non-related aspects of it like the felony streaming bill for the first time. Sadly, and I, and I really hate to be the bearer of bad news here, guys, uh, I called Senator Tom Tillis' DC office earlier today. I spoke with one of his representatives and I asked, you know, is that big DMCA law proposal still in the omnibus bill that is slated to be passed here in a matter of hours? Her answer, uh, unfortunately, was yes. Uh, as far as she was able to tell me as a representative of Tom Tillis' office, uh, that particular DMCA law proposal is still in the omnibus bill and unless something crazy changes over the next couple of hours, look forward to that becoming law here as soon as the omnibus bill is passed. Let me explain to you guys why this is such a big deal. Uh, regardless of what Senator Tillis says, uh, he basically assured everyone there's no way that this brand new law he proposed uh, could be used against individual streamers. It's very narrow in focus, all that kind of jazz. If you don't know, uh, the music and entertainment industries have been extraordinarily relentless and insanely vicious when going after online creators, even in some of the most absurd situations you can imagine. My favorite example of this is just a couple weeks ago, guys. Guys, PewDiePie, uh, one of the largest creators in the world with over a hundred million subscribers, was hit with one of these ridiculous claims by uh, someone in the music industry. In his video, he played a obviously uh, farcical uh, and very, very bad rendition of a Celine Dion song uh, for about like four or five seconds. Those four or five seconds at the very end of the video, guys, should have absolutely been covered under fair use. Now that unnamed music company has claimed all of the revenue, 100%, uh, from a video that was 31 minutes in length with millions upon millions of views. We're talking about tens of thousands of dollars, if not more, that all go to the music company now instead of PewDiePie uh, because of those four or five fair use seconds. That example right there encapsulates why so many people are worried about the felony streaming bill. Uh, because uh, the music and entertainment industries with their high powered lawyers uh, are gonna be going after individual streamers because they can and because a lot of us do not have the financial means or time or anything to be able to combat these guys back. And just so it's 100% clear here, uh, we're not talking about people who willfully, purposely uh, try to benefit off of other people's copyrighted works with no fair use idea attached to it. Uh, we're talking about people like the PewDiePie video. We're talking about people like PewDiePie who did a farcical, fun rendition of something or even just accidentally had something playing in the background of their stream or video that music and entertainment companies are going after to the fullest extent of the law. And if all of that wasn't bad enough for you, uh, now we get to the thing that's uh, potentially even worse for everyday Americans, everyday internet users. It's called the CASE Act, and it's being slotted to pass in the exact same omnibus bill the Felony Streaming Act is included in as well. For a second here, guys, we're going to reference an article that I think did a fantastic job of summarizing why the CASE Act could be one of the worst things to ever pass uh, through Congress regarding the internet. The, the article is from Inside Sources, and it says Americans deserve better than the CASE 
Space Act. It starts off by saying the internet is built on sharing. Re we retweet, reblog, and reshare material all the time, from silly TikToks to breaking news. And we contribute to the cultural and political conversation by adding our own commentary and insights. This kind of activity is the lifeblood of the everyday online experience. And here's where it gets so bad, guys. The Copyright Alternative and Small Claims Enforcement Act, also known as the Case Act, uh, aims to turn that activity, sharing, doing everything we just talked about, into a daily financial risk. Uh, the Case Act purports to help fix the thorny problem of copyright infringement online by creating a new tribunal within the Copyright Office composed not of judges, but of claims officers. These claims officers will be able to issue fines up to $30,000. Another watchdog group called Public Knowledge summarized why this crazy tribunal thing here uh, would essentially be a horror for just about every internet user. Uh, this, this tribunal, this special, this special entity, uh, means that it would be exempt from the regulations and procedures of the judicial branch. And here's the really bad thing, guys. The $30,000 fee could be assigned to an unassuming internet user who wasn't aware they were violating copyright, isn't aware that they can opt out and go through a traditional court, and certainly cannot afford $30,000. One of their final tweets on the matter, guys, uh, summarizes exactly why I'm so worried about this and why you should be too. Uh, this is an appealing model for copyright trolls. We're going to talk about that in a second, who can file claims against small time artists and, you know, internet users with the possibility of high profit. It will bankrupt individuals while letting corporations and mass infringers off the hook entirely. If you guys don't know, uh, there's a big plague that uh, that hits YouTubers a lot of the time. It's what happened to PewDiePie. It's, what, it's what's happened to me a dozen different times. Uh, different individuals and organizations will basically copyright claim thousands of videos a day, and no, I'm not exaggerating on that number whatsoever, in the hopes that something will catch. They can claim part of your money because you don't want to have to go to court to sort of win that argument. YouTube generally stays out of these discussions entirely. It's generally to their benefit to do so. Uh, so essentially what you're left with is you and whoever has copyright claiming you, regardless of how absurd the claim might be, uh, getting to the point where you might actually have to take it to court. Everything sort of defers to who's claiming you first. The CASE Act supercharges the entire copyright trolling method. It's basically Congress handing a $30,000 weapon uh, to people that extraordinarily abuse that system already. At the end of the day, guys, it's hard to know what's worse. Uh, what's going to be used in a more insidious manner, the Felony Streaming Act or the CASE Act, uh, both of which have had little to zero discussion uh, because it's getting rammed through last minute attached to this big omnibus bill that's required to keep the government operating. This is pretty rough, guys. Uh, not something I wanted to be talking about. You know, there's very rare uh, occurrences where I talk about something not automotive news related, uh, but this is really, really bad. I'm going to list a couple other references uh, by, by Critical, uh, also by The Quartering, who've discussed uh, the Felony Streaming Act uh, in some depth as well, uh, but almost no one is talking about the case act which i think could actually hurt a lot of online creators you know you at home as well in a much more uh, sort of readily available way in terms of taking action guys i don't even know if we have any time at this point there was so much in that 3000 page bill uh, we just didn't have a lot of time to digest it i'm assuming that most congressional members have no clue what's in the bill as well uh, we could try something like stop case in terms of a hashtag but stop dmza didn't appear to do anything even though we had half the country talking about it for a day or to, it's it's frustrating. We have so many weird things that could drastically change the internet that are all being thrown in last minute. What, what do you even do at this point? I don't know, guys. We'll do our best to keep you updated with pertinent information as we get it, uh, but expect some extraordinarily negative, massive internet sweeping changes to happen over the next couple days uh, or whenever the bill actually goes into effect. Um, it's hard to know. It's only 3,000 pages long, but Anyway, thanks for following, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like this sort of updates, if you're new here, uh, if you've never seen one of my videos before, uh, we try to do stuff like this. We normally do automotive news, but every once in a while, there are issues that are bigger than, than what our normal topics are, and that's what we're doing today. Anyway, have a great day, guys. We'll, we'll catch you soon. Hopefully, that's all I got. Bye.